Janet Hammond. <laughs> Well, today is an incredible honor, first and foremost, for West Virginia, but absolutely for Rock Branch, for this incredible teacher that's here, you know, you know, Jana Hambrick and everything, and all the great work she does. But the biggest thing that you'll find from West Virginians is how much we appreciate. And this, from the standpoint, this is two Milken Awards that we've gotten this year in, in the state of West Virginia. You know, are you kidding me? Absolutely, at the end of the day, we're so thankful and so appreciative of all the incredible work the family's done for years and years, decades. And so, at the end of the day, you'll find West Virginians are one thing for sure, and that is appreciative people. And today is our time to be appreciative of this great family and all the great work that they've done. Can you tell me how important it is to recognize teachers publicly? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, really and truly, they are influencing in every profound way all who we are. I mean, that's all there is to it. I mean, literally, you know, we're going to spin around a few times and we may not be here, but these kids will be here and they will be a product of the teachers. And so if we can't stand up for the teachers, we're not much. That's all there is to it. So what y'all are doing is phenomenal. Well, first of all, you see just this. You see these kids truly love their teachers. And their teachers, the teachers absolutely love the children. You have, you have great stuff going on in the classrooms, in the schools in West Virginia every single day. And it all starts with love and caring for these kids. You know, they're in a safe environment and literally they know that they love and absolutely appreciate their teachers, but at the same time, the teachers love their work. There was a teacher who just came up to me just a second ago, and she said she teaches reading every day. She said, you can't imagine how I feel. It's the greatest job in the entire world. That's all there is to it. And so literally, you know, we got a lot of good stuff going on in West Virginia in the classrooms, that's for sure. But it all starts with love and, uh, and giving these kids real hope Real knowledge, it's really good stuff. You know, Miss Mabe was my first grade teacher. You know, my, my second grade teacher was Mrs. Pashuda. You know, absolutely, uh, they all had a big influence in my life and everything. And they did that because every day they got up and came to work in a job with real passion and love for all of us and everything. You know, there was plenty of days they got on me because who knows what I was doing. But, uh, but with all that being said, they just steer you in the right path. You know, I, I went, I, I could go all the way up to college. And, I, and I, I've got to tell you just this. There was a guy that was the head of the entire business school at Marshall University. His name was Robert Alexander. And Robert Alexander, Dr. Alexander, that we always called him and everything, he came into the class, and you've got to hear this, but he came into the class I was, it was principles of management. And he had his little glasses on, you know, that were, and he could look over top of them. And he said, if you don't make an A or a B in my class, then at the end of the day, and he flipped his grade book, this class made, you know, 28 A's and 14 B's and one C. This class made 22 A's, 23 B's, two C's. He said, if you don't make an A or a B in my class, then I'm not doing my job. And literally, he said, now I'm getting ready to work your you know what off, and he did, and everything. But at the end of the day, you know, that's really the product of what teachers are all about. They absolutely love, and they want to teach these kids. And so, so yeah, I, I, I owe my life. That's all there is to it.